sitting here today in my 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 and it bewilders me today on why these lights on the interior are white. You see that? white besides this one which is gold shows light down to the cup holders today i'm going to be showing you step by step step right up on how to change the color of your interior lights and you can change it to any color you want and this will be about under a five dollar modification in consideration of friends and family and your own health when it comes to your vision and sleep this color is not the best especially at night when you're usually using these lights any nocturnal animals that are subject to this light or can see it from distance or wherever you may go it's not healthy for them either it's going to throw off their sleep patterns as well Let's start with the front and then we'll work on the rear. Start by lowering the sunglasses holder. Push it up a little, get a good feel underneath right here. And then what you want to do, pull that down. Now the brown clip is a little tough because you got to push that little pin to the side and then you can pull it out. And then for this other plug, there should be a little tab right here. And then push the panel out. Okay, now with a T10 torque screwdriver, there will be a screw there. Oh, wait, wait, I got one. Screw to remove right over here. I'm gonna grab a hand up front, grab a hand on the side. And it's down. And to remove this whole plastic tray, there will be one plug right here. And to unplug this plug, there will be two areas right here and here. They push those together, and then this whole gray piece will fly south for the winter. I'm going to dust it off. want to move this tab over you can just use the thumb and it will pull this light right up and there's the light and there two pieces you can use masking tape or this petrol tape now mask it right over the light the entire light just in case any of the white light escapes you want to have a decent piece about an inch by an inch Let's start with the rear dome light. I haven't seen any videos or I've seen some pictures about it. And this is my first try at trying to change the color of the lights. Obviously, that's going to eventually peel off. And the rear already started with the edge. Just get a good grip underneath and start pulling the tab. People have a design where they have two clips right here and they have to use a trim tool get above there push it together and then for anyone that wanted to actually change the lights opposed to putting over a lens would have to snip these wires or at the source of the board here's why i wouldn't just apply a tape over to the top seem to have left a sticky residue in some of the color of the tape Okay, I got one of the bulbs out, just held my clips on the side. Try to position that into the middle and just wrap the tape around that and pop the bulb back into place. First. Before I snap that back into place, I'm going to test the lights. I'm going to keep this middle light unplugged because I, I don't want that light shining. And there we go. Since I unplugged it again, the lights turn back on. Core back in. The interior lights from the outside of the truck. Let me open the door. There are the interior lights. Here's the inside of the cab from the rear. I hope I was able to help you today. Please subscribe and enjoy your new lights. Thank you for watching.
acceleration and a Jeep Gladimir. Jeep right there tattooed on the window. I'm gonna die up. Got the hood open here in the truck. I wanted to show you my brand new long tube headers right here. See that? Brand new protective heat shields too. Gaskets, screws. See those new ones down there? See that? Brand new long tube headers. distributor what we got here today is new opti spark distributor water pump thermostat coolant temp sensor ignition coil and a wire lp1 engine drivers are made of rust and well water Oh, it's even windier up here. 